All times are the same. Right? Historically, then, now, and in the movies we capture it. We capture it in, in a way, in fictional ways, right? right? Like the story of, you know, Batman, for example. You know Batman? Batman was, was about truth, right? He was about truth and justice for the American way, right? <laughs> Fucking Superman. And it was, but then they, there was this guy with the kryptonite from Krypton, kryptonite, kryptonic, or whatever. It's fucking, wherever he was from, right? Superman was from this, this other place, and, and these guys figured out a way to bring him down with the kryptonite. And it was shit around their neck, right? They put it around Superman's neck, and he was, he was weak, right? Good and evil, right? Or Batman had his. He had the Joker. He had the Riddler. Yeah. The movie I wanted, the movie that stands out the most, that's most realistic, is um, Ed Norton and uh, Matt Damon, Rounders. Oof. Wow, so good, huh? So that scene when, see, it's the story of two friends, right? One's, one's about truth. It's poker. They play poker. And, you know, Matt Damon is the truth. He's, he's, he says that you could beat anybody. You could beat anybody in a game. As long as you're truthful and, and, you, and you, you, you don't need to, to cheat. You don't need to gimmick it. You don't need to lie. You don't need to, to rig it. And his friend Ed Norton was the cheater. Master cheater, right? He was the, you know, he's the psychic with the Swami gimmick. And the and the the cold reading and the you know the fake cards, handing his friends the cards so that they could read them and sound brilliant and wow what a hand you know. And Matt Damon was the guy who said no you don't have to do that you could beat them straight on and it's so much more powerful when you do it. It's a game, right? And that scene remember the scene the last fucking scene right when when. When Matt Damon, he's sitting at the table with the Russian guy, and he says, he, he, he knows he's got him, he's, he's got him, right? Because of the Oreo, he was paying attention to his tell in the Oreo, the way the Russian guy ate the Oreo, and he knew he got him, right? And, and, when, and, he, and he said, he said, um, he said, you must think you're very smart right now, feeling good about yourself, right? What a fucking scene, right? And Matt Damon takes him, takes him down man he took him down in the last that last card right and he got his he got his 60 grand back he got his he got his money back right and then he went on to play the world series of poker for a million dollars right all by 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 challenging his opponent with the truth no cheating but what does that have to do with Jenny Moore's death Look, I, I got into that, the, the Jason Goodman, J George Webb, and all the ancillary, ancillary characters, there's Quinn Michaels, there's David Atkin, Acton, whatever the hell his name is, right? George's brother. Spends all his time taking his brother down. I don't know, man. <laughs> Strange characters, man. You know, the Jason Goodman is the gimmick. He's, the, he's all about the gimmicks. The Swami gimmick, right? Crowdsource. We're going to crowdsource. Get everybody to crowdsource, right? And then once you got, you gain a little control over that, throw those people under the bus and make them pay. Patreon. Come over to Patreon. This is about a murder mystery, right? I got drawn into these characters. I had left them a long time ago. In fact, I was never really involved with him. Who the hell am I? I almost got hit by a car. Jerk off. <laughs> He's driving a Jaguar, fucking 90 miles an hour on early in the morning. Slow down. So, where was I? Oh, Jason Goodman is the, um, he's the equivalent of the Ed Sullivan show, right? He's Ed Sullivan. From the 50s. Remember Ed Sullivan? Ed Sullivan in himself had no talent. Really. Ed Sullivan's Ed Sullivan was the guy who 
<laughs> sorry about that, was the guy who found the Beatles and he gave he gave Jim Morrison a platform and right. My joystick is going crazy. Right, but Ed Sullivan in himself was not a was not a bona fide talent. He was a guy who would find talent and give talent a platform. Or we'll have a really big show, right? But I got into this I got drawn back into this because of a murder, right? Is Jenny Moore did she really get murdered for disclosing information about the Clintons, the Clinton Foundation, Bill Clinton raping a boy? Is that really the story? Or is it a figment of George Webb's imagination and the cheerleader Jason Goodman cheering it on and Thomas Paine? Swami gimmicks. Guys playing fucking games with people. Is it, is it that? You know, and is it, is it that? Are the stakes high? Do these guys really, they're, they're real. They believe and they, they're, they're opportunists. There's no doubt about it, right? George, George Webb makes a living doing, you know, walking around DC with his little camera. A real talent, George, by the way. George has, George has the talent that Jason lacks. But he's delusional, George. Finds himself falling into the gimmick. Steers away from the truth. That, my bridge. And then there's Thomas Paine, who kind of repeats the repeats the story of that we already know or leads us to the story which is a good thing he leads us to the story but in himself he's not the story but there is either a dead journalist right or there is not a dead journalist and then it's just a just a bunch of liars and that is the story right what is the story is the story about a girl who goes to DC and you know she wants to she wants she's in search of the truth and she stumbles across a bunch of charlatans guys like George Webb who lead her down the the, the path of deception and cha-ching you know YouTube money and YouTube propaganda is it a story of jealousy? Then we see the jealous rage, the Jason Goodman jealous rage, the, the overly possessive, paranoid gay male, alpha male from Chelsea, New York, the gayest neighborhood in America. <laughs> and, I, and again, I have no, I, I worked in the, I worked in, a, in an industry with gay men for years. I have, I'm not, anyone who says that I'm against you know, I'm bashing his gayness is ridic that's ridiculous. I'm not you know I have no I have no opinion on what you do in your bedroom. But it does in this scenario when people hide their sexuality or hide their gayness. Quinn Michaels, uh, you know things that you know, because it leads you to believe like you know, that an opportunist like Goodman would do anything. No, George, oh, oh, suck your dick. I'll suck your dick, George. Oh, 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 oh. You know, oh, you know, for a favor, he'll do anything. <laughs> that was foul. Right? George, I'll suck your dick. Oh, 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 George, you're so good. Oh. <laughs> That's Jason sucking George's dick. <laughs> 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 All right, spit it out. The fucking, you know, but this is who we're dealing with, right? These guys are crazy, right? These guys are fucking nuts. And what am I? Where am I? Who the hell am I? I'm just a garbage guy, right? I'm more than that. I'm more than that. I'm more than just... Ticket Ticket Cop was one little episode in my life. It was only a year or two, right? But it led me here, which is which is very interesting. 
and now the attacks. See, we're over the target, right? You get closer to the target. You all thought it was over. <laughs> you guys thought it was over. Everybody thought it was over. Oh, you guys dropped the ball. Nobody's going to get... Nobody's going to figure out the mystery of Jenny Moore. All right? Just going to let the journalists die. And let a bunch of cheaters and liars get away with it. Or let a murderer get away with it. Did she die of natural causes? I don't know. Did one of these... One of these cocksuckers go over there and kill her? I don't know. Was it a hit job from the Robin Gritz angle? Was it really about the Clintons? I don't know. <laughs> what I do know is that it's the whole scene is full of a bunch of bunch of characters eating each other really over over YouTube popularity. It's like a, it's a it's sport. Right? It's not about truth to these guys. It's about the. It's about sport, and there's a difference, right? See, see, like, like Bernie Sanders was, was about principle. Although he wasn't the right leader, he was. A, he stood on principle. He stood on policies that he, that he had, that he believes in and has believed in his whole life. And that's a noble man. And he stood in, in direct contrast to Hillary Clinton, who was gimmick, was pay for play, with Bill Clinton in the background pulling the strings, ex-president. Sport. One was about sport, about winning. And the other one was about truth for the people. And that's Bernie Sanders' legacy. What happened after 2016, that's not the point, but the rise and then the fall. So there's a lot on the line here, right? I believe that uh, the YouTube community, the, the, the idea of a free press, like the movie, I'll give you one more movie. You remember Oregon? You remember? I don't know if you guys watch cartoons, but I do. Oregon was the, uh, give you this angle for a while, was the, uh, I don't like that angle, I like this angle, was the, the, the dragon, the, tr the great dragon riders, oh, a time of the great dragon riders where the, where the dragon finds the rider and death to their part, remember, right, and he has that moment where there's that moment where he where he gets on his dragon for the first time and he and he and he's he's inexperienced and the, the dragon coaches him. But as 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 time progresses he becomes the master one with his dragon. Powerful. Uh, powerful. The whole world wants to see him with his dragon to save save the world from corruption and evil. And death to their part. The dragon dies. If the if the rider dies, the dragon dies. If the dragon dies, the rider lives, but dies a slow death without his dragon. So that's where we are right now. We're we're up against. And I'll always come back to it because that's what this is really all about. It is it it is it's an interesting story because. It is, if it is tied to oligarchy and the Clintons and a political hit for exposure of something that is, you know, rather disgusting, the, the abuse of a, of a child, then so be it. Then that's what the story is. And it must be exposed for what it is. But if it isn't, it, it shows also... It's a, it's a, it's an amazing story in in the sense of. It exposes the greed and the corrupt, the greed and the, the jealousy and the, the rage, and the 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 um. The pay for play, the, the 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 gimmicking of news. All for gain, all for personal gain. The censoring of 
of people. Truth community. Well, uh, you know, fucking Jason, the truth community. Right? For a while, for a year, half a year. And then all of a sudden it's about subscribe to my Patreon link for the truth. Right? And then when people post on his board on his videos or in his super chat he's got idiots like like a Casey Whalen Whalen who's looking at charges right is it Jason I think I don't know I'm not, I'm not sure we still don't have a picture of Casey Whalen find out find out who Casey Whalen is if it's if if, if Casey Whalen by the way turns out to be George uh, turns out to be Jason in disguise then we have even more exposure of the fake and phoniness of of Mr. Mr. Truth Mr. Jason Truth right because he's he's out there he's out there using a pseudonym to hit people right does his hit job through a fake name and did jo did Jason film George jerking off in a car or on his couch <laughs> <laughs> These guys are crazy, right? Right? George is jerking off on a couch in Jason's house or in his car down in Jason's parking lot. And Jason, the, I don't know, porn star, that's what people say, is it films it. <laughs> so they got to film. So there's this video of George jerking off in a car. And there's there's film of video of a boy testifying in front of a camera that Bill Clinton raped him and 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 we we've seen none of it right and we're, we're expected to believe some of that shit so New York Harbor I love bridges they connect things you know they connect. They connect things. They make it. They make passage possible. So we'll keep going with this. We'll keep going with this, exposing the characters, exposing the players. I'll expose myself. Oh, this is, uh, am I a trust fund baby? <laughs> That's so ridiculous. Someone said that. Oh, well, Conti's a trust fund baby. He doesn't work. All my, all my information is down below. I'm not going to go through all that stuff, right? What I do right now is, is, is a secret because the nature of uh, the job that I have, the title, requires casework. And it requires that I not disclose my employer. But that's, and that's coming to an end. And I'll be talking about it very soon. It's just I have to, I have to respect confidentiality and that sort of thing. So, and my, I live paycheck to paycheck. I don't have any <laughs> savings at all. <laughs> I have a book down below if you want to read my... I read, wrote some stories in 2012. Um, I don't like to write anymore. It's just, I like video. It's, I get my idea out. And writing to me is just, it just takes too long. And it's, I don't know. <laughs> I grew out of it. So... Anyway, my name is Marcus Conti reporting. Peace.